Get ready for the best bug battle you've ever seen. Introducing my seven team grounded bug battle league featuring the best bugs from all around the garden. You'll see teams such as AFC Grasslands, Flingman Hedgespur, Haster Town, Shedfield United, Wheelbarrow Wanderers, Skyport County, ORC Athletic, and your favorite, FC Miss Shits. But Liam, how does it all work? Well, Roy, allow me to explain how things work. In a football league style format, each team will face off against each other one by one until they've all played each other once. So in total, there will be seven match days and whoever is sitting at the top of the table at the end will be the champion. The team will get three points for a win, zero points for a loss, and in the unlikely event of a draw, both teams will get one point. Well, that's all well and dandy, Liam, my chum. But how do the matches work? Well, Roy, each team is laid out like a regular football team. As in 11 players? Exactly, Roy. 11 players on each... And they all fire once? Roy, please. I'm trying to talk here. Sorry, darling. It's okay. Just, you know, sort your shit out, yeah? So, 11 bugs on a team laid out as attackers, midfielders, defenders, and of course, a goalkeeper. The first team to clear the opposing bugs team will win the points. Roy! Are you ready? Of course I am. I'm football mad. Viewer! Are you ready? Then like, subscribe, sit back, and let the games begin! Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Manager Chatters video. Ah, ah. Yes, I'm back in Grounded. It's me, it's Liam. I haven't recorded for God knows how many months now, and I apologize for that, but I am back, and, and oh God, look at this. Oh, boring old Liam, he, he's reverted back to bug battle videos. So first up, we have, we have Shedfield United, <laughs> which is obviously shed creatures there, and I know you're gonna be like, oh, oh, you can get those at the shed as well. I don't care. I do not care. They're Shedfield. Shedfield United, <laughs> which is an amazing name. I'm, I'm a big fan of that one. Against Wheelbarrow Wanderers, the you know they wander around the wheelbarrow they're in the shed area you 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 understand you know you know hey they're fighting they're fighting understand now the winner of this will get three points they'll get three points meaning they will be on three points and they will be in the first place because they're the first team to fight and then the loser will get no points so technically they'll be at the bottom but i'm not going on that sort of basis just a win lose three points you're right up there <laughs> 3.0 points, points and then one point if they draw which shouldn't really happen i'm hoping it doesn't but god this is looking like a landslide victory for the old the old wheelbarrow wanderers they're coming in hot and there was me thinking shedfield united would you know do them over but but no but no it doesn't seem that way or they've what's going on here but it looks like shed shedfield have, have lost out on this bad boy but oh there you go that was a quick one that was a quick one whilst i was there uh, yapping away and i don't know how to shut up they did it they did it. Now, all of these have about 15,000 HP. Now, I know what you're going to say. Is you're going to be, oh, they have different star effects. And I, get, I don't care. I don't care. No one's going to watch this anyway. No one's going to watch this. I've been gone for like five months, so I'm not, I'm not expecting big time views from this. But for those of you real OG fans out there, that was for you. On to the next. So the next two, we have Hayster Town. Yes, that's Hayster Town. It's a good name, it's a good name. Against these Orc Athletic, get in there, boys, get in there. Now, quick team sheet lineup. We got the infected ladybugs. We got two of those. We got one infected wolfie. Big mama infected brood mother. We got two little gnats there. They're not really gonna do a lot. Two infected weevils, again, not gonna do a lot. Infected mite, not gonna do a lot. And then two infected larvas. That is the team sheet. Well, you have three ladybugs. We have three ladybugs there. We got two. Black Ox Orcs in the background there. You got four. They're not Orcs. They're imposters. They're imposters. Get out. There you go. Much better. So yeah, got the four soldiers here. Five Red Ant soldiers, ORCs. And then obviously their leader, the main man, the front man. We have Director Schmechter. So these are the two that's fighting. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm hoping these fight. Again, like that. it keeps changing. Every time I try to do a fight with certain bugs, it doesn't work the way it used to. Like beforehand, like going back months now, just they used to fight everything. Like you could get all the ladybirds to fight each other, but now they don't. And it's just a bit strange. It's annoying because you're constantly having to change. Good for me. I'm just an, I'm just an onlooker. I'm just a fan. <laughs> but yeah, you have to constantly change things to make sure they do actually fight. So whereas before, this would have worked fine how I originally had it. But now, obviously, because certain things don't attack certain things, it's just difficult to get everything to, to fight. But um. It looks like they're, they're going for it. They're definitely going for it. A few of them aren't really interested over here. The wolf, he's not really getting in on it. I might have to throw myself in there as a little fire starter. There we go. Now we're getting in there. Now everything's fighting. Right, guys? Everything's fighting. Oh, look at that rock attack. Yeah. 
Use your money on people. Use your money on that's one life down for the Broodmother. Where do you think these guys will end up at the end of the league? Remember, there are about seven matches. Eight teams, so that means there are seven matches. We're not doing two and away and a home because it's going to be at the same ground. That's just stupid. It's not going to make a difference. The morale isn't affected and grounded, unfortunately. I like to think Hayes to Town will be sitting around the top somewhere. I like to think that. Just because of her, really. But obviously, because of her, I've had to, like, dim... And she has so much HP. She takes up, like, going on a 15,000 basis. She takes up a good portion of that. So you sort of have to fill the rest of the team with, like, fairly trashy... Fair, sorry, my, my, my gaze has been averted by this struggling ladybird here. He's, yes! Yes! Redemption story! <laughs> But yeah, the rest of the um, infected team is sort of made up of crappy ones, hence why they died fairly quickly. But I guess it, it makes it fair, fair enough at the end of the day. So now you've got all of these... Which you still have her as a favourite, don't you, really? You can't, you can't knock her. She knows what she's doing. So yeah, they've got her pinned in. They've got her pinned in a corner. I sort of have... I'm in favour of the ORCs now, just because she has so much to attack... I was in favour of the ORCs, but they're starting to lose lose contestants. I'm not really sure what to do with him. I don't know how he's done that, because there should be barriers to stop him. I, I, what am I supposed to do now? How do I get him down? I really hope it's not you two left, because that's forfeit. You forfeited. <laughs> get down! Get down from there! We've got magical ORC up here. Your team needs you! Your team needs you! Oh, they've taken it down again. They've taken it down again. You should have one more life left. Don't don't go, Schmechter. You know this. You've been through this time and time again. Don't go for me. I'm not really sure what's going on, to be honest. Black Ox, get out of the way. I might have to throw myself in there. We're trying. No, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him go. What is that? The timing. The timing of that was literally perfect. <laughs> let's just, let's have a little replay of that. Oh, that's made me cry. <laughs> Black Ox, get out of the way. I might have to throw myself in there. We're trying, no, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> just how I like shouted at him. I felt so bad to get out of the way and he just like fling me. <laughs> just flings away into oblivion. Poor guy. Poor guy. He deserves better. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Black Hawks, get down. Get down from there. She's gone on to crazy phase. Right, you're just glitching out here. Because little lady, little lady, <laughs> let me, let me have a word with you. She, oh, look at that. She's like glitched there. Oh, this could be an upset. This could be an upset. The ORCs could win this. But there are some decent teams in here, so when they come to face the ORC... Oh, this is what I like to see. Competition. Competition. Bugs fighting bugs. No! Schmecht is dead. Schmecht is dead. Uh, Black Ops, they need you now more than ever. <laughs> Get down. Get down. Think of your friends. Oh, no, no, I missed it. I missed it. Why? Why? I go down there to check everything's okay. No, the fight's still on. The fight's still on. Oh, for God's sake. I'm sorry. I missed the money shot. I missed the money shot. That's like watching a porno. And at the point of climax, you just throw your phone away. Like, oh, I'm done with that now. Oh, for younger viewers, don't bleep, bleep. I'll bleep that. Oh, wait. Well. Yeah, she's... Oh, I went down to check to see if everything was going okay. It was. They were all losing health. And then, as soon as I turned my back, she decides to die. God damn you. God damn you. There you go. Hayes to town has taken a loss. Has taken a loss. Orc Athletic. Oh, they're up there. Let's go on to the next. This is going to be absolutely mental. This is pretty much... <laughs> this might as well just be called the Battle of the Ants. So, on this side, we have AFC Grasslands. Again, great name, great name. It's all to do with the grasslands. It could have been called like Anchester United. That could have been a good one. But I had already made the badges at this point, and then I realised that the the original method wouldn't work. 
So it was like ants, wolf spiders, anything you find in the grasslands. Like originally these names did make sense, but then I realized it doesn't work because grounded. And um, yeah, I had to alter it. So I would have called these like Anchester City, Anchester United, something like that. But instead now it's AFC Grasslands. So as you can see here, you're probably thinking, oh Liam, Liam, how did you get those? How did you get those? They're not in, they're not in the game. They're not, they're not in the game. But through the power of mods, I can spawn them in. These are veteran ant soldiers and they're huge. If you can see the difference here between a normal ant soldier and these, they are massive. They have more health as well, which makes them exciting. There are, I believe, 12 of those. There are 15 regular soldiers and then 40 workers. So this is going to be mental. And then here, you're probably, oh, you're probably thinking again. Oh, Liam, how did you, how did you spawn in the pit ant lions? They're not in the game. You can't spawn those in with the with the playgrounds modder. No, you can. You can't spawn those in. Again, through the power of modifications, I've managed to spawn these bad boys in. Ground it, sort it out. They're in the game. Why can't we spawn them in? Same with this. It just brings up a regular crappy soldier. Get out of here. No one wants you. And then we have eight pit ant lions and eight regular ant lions. Again, this is going to be absolute mayhem. Uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, this, I didn't, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, oh Jesus Christ, no. All right, we're still going, we're still, Well, they sucked. <laughs> well, we know who's coming last now, don't we? AFC Grasslands, get your shit together. What was that all about? They didn't even put up a fight. Oh, I'm not right. I'm not sure if AFC Grasslands are absolute trash or Mishits. Again, amazing name. Mishits are just really good because of their like area attack, especially these guys. That was very one-sided. You're bottom of the leaderboard. You suck. You suck. If I could spit through a TV screen right now, I would spit on you. Not you boys. I love you boys. You boys are great. You guys sucked. Even you, veteran ant soldier. Come on. Get it together. Anyway, on to the next. <laughs> so I'm not going to do this every time. It's just the first time just to familiar familiarize yourselves with the teams a little bit. So we have Flingman Hedgespur. If you don't get that, that's a play on Tottenham Hotspur. Um, the spiders being like the boss spiders in the hedge and the flingman flying disc with all the webs and stuff like that and the spiders in the hedge flingman hedge spur which is quite good so what we're looking at we have two wolfies three wolfies two brood mothers a black widow four orb weavers four juniors and eight widowlings against Skyport County, yeah, Skyport County again this was meant to be a vast array of different flying creatures but because grounded it wouldn't let me do that and now we just have a wasp army consisting of big old queen mama up there love you baby Mwah. and then we <laughs> 11 drones and eight regular wasps so i shouldn't have to interfere with this one too much it should be crazy this should be good though this should be good i this could go either way this could go either way like a bisexual i'm just hoping that they all get involved and they should all attack in unison spiders against wasps team versus a team a team a team versus a team. Get down there. Get down there. They need you. There's a special place in hell for people like you. Wasps like you. Oh, there we go. They're in it now. They're in it now. So, like, most of these teams have, have a boss within them. Some of them don't, and you can kind of tell which ones they are. AFC Grasslands. I'm, I'm curious to know how FC Mishits do with all the pit ant lions and stuff, just because they're just insane. I really want them to do well, but uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. The Wasp Queen is like very overpowered, but they do have two Brood Mothers and a Black Widow, which is the good thing. I didn't want to put too many Black Widows in there because they're a bit finicky with, with who they'll actually fight against. Like they won't fight against the Infected Brood Mother. They are kind of OP and I didn't want to use it all up on Black Widows. Weirdly enough, the Black Widow has more HP, as most of you probably know, than the Brood Mother. And these Wasps are holding up pretty well, to be fair. They're not doing too bad. Also, let me know your predictions. I re I'm really curious in the comments below. Please let me know how you think this is going to end up because I want to know what you guys think as well as me. I have my own views, but you guys are obviously going to think, think something else. Also, any teams you would like to see? 
I mean, if I, if I enjoy this and it goes well, perhaps I will do another one and I will switch up the teams. So any new teams you can think of, if you think these teams could be altered in any way, that would be quite cool as well. Please let me know. Like I said, I'm open to comments as well. But going off this one, I'm going to give it to the Wasps, not just because there's only a Black Widow left. I just think the Wasps are going to be fairly overpowered. Oh, but Black Widow, she isn't giving up. She isn't giving up. Again, with the league, maybe if you think like, oh, at the end of it, the top four, you could put them through into like, I know it sounds stupid, like a knockout, like Champions League or something like that. But there's, there's a load of different things I could do with this. There is, but I, I kind of just want a league format just to see how it goes. Yeah, Skyport County look like they're in the lead on this one. Yep, there we go. Skyport County have indeed won it and they've won it by quite a landslide. I genuinely thought, come on, you Spurs, Flinkman Hedge Spur would do better. But that, that, that's that's how it is so far. That's how it is so far. And there you have it. The scores at the end of the doors. You, you've already seen this. It's not really a score system. It's sort of win-loss. So yeah, that doesn't really work too well. But there's a table. Anyway, that is the table. And that is how it stands so far after match day one. If you like this, if you're new here, let's be honest, none of you are. But <laughs> if you are new here, make sure to subscribe. Uh, because next week there will be match day two and then following that match day three all the way up to match day seven which will be the finale and you will see who is victorious and who is the champion of the whole league so thank you for watching i hope you enjoy this again i apologize for being so absent recently i've just been very very busy and just just been chilling out playing some games getting back into it so yeah i apologize again and i will start making more regular content if there are any other games you want me to play beside grounded Please <laughs> let me know. But thanks, guys. See ya. Bye.